and uh, they're off for the 2012 running of the John Smith's Grand National in compliance just a little bit behind the others and also Calgary Bay and Neptune Collange was ridden away from the start with always right right up there in the early stages and so too is Giles Cross also prominent is State of Play as they cross the Melling Road it's Giles Cross with Swing Bill and according to Pete who is right up there with towards the outside Alpha Beat as they go over the first Giles Cross one of the first to rise because I couldn't see and we lost Viking Blonde Viking Blonde is the faller at the first as they head on towards the second. So out in front, Swing Bill with Because I Couldn't See, Shakalaka Boom Booms according to Pete and also Tharawat as they take that organised confusion. Made a mistake at the second. We've also got fallers. West End Rocker is down. West End Rocker is a faller at the second and Junior is the other one. West End Rocker and Junior both out at the second. A very bad mistake by Vic Venturi at the open ditch but he is over okay. Well behind the others is Arbor Supreme as they head on towards the fourth. Shakalaka Boom Boom leads the early stages of the National. They're all streaming over that. They appear to have got over it safely. Arbor Supreme was very slow towards the back of the field as they're on to one the one before Beaches. Shakalaka, boom, boom, swing bill according to Pete. Front rank. And Seabass and Katie Walsh have gone handy as well as they stream out over the fence before Beaches. State of play has gone. Brought down Rare Bob. Chicago Grey has also been brought down. So a few casualties at the fifth. They make their way down towards Beaches. And on the approach to it, Shakalaka, boom, boom and Seabass and according to Pete and Deep Purple and Planet of Sound. Shakalaka Boom Boom lifts off ahead. The leaders go streaming out over it safely. Most of the principals over it, but Synchronized has gone. Synchronized has gone at Beaches. Shakalaka Boom Boom leaves them to Foynhaven from Seabass and always right and Giles Cross who makes a very bad mistake. According to Pete, is right behind them. Alpha Beat has gone at Foynhaven. Alpha Beat is down and it's Shakalaka Boom Boom who leads them towards the canal turn from Always Right and Seabass. Planet of Sand on the outside and then according to Pete and Deep Purple, Killy Glen is over next, and then Swing Bill as they stream out over it. Uh, Black Appalachia has gone. Organised confusion has gone because I couldn't see has gone. Uh, several others have gone in behind as well as they make their way out over Valentine's. Tatton, another one who came down. Organised confusion, as Stuart said, out of the race. Arbor Supreme is well behind. Shakalaka, boom, boom. Planet of Sound, Sea Bass, Hello Bud, and also Always Right to the first five to rise. At which Deep Purple makes a bad mistake at that fence in midfield. Uh, Treacle has gone to towards the back of the field and Arbor Supreme have all but refused and has unseated the rider. Shakalaka Boom Boom, Planet of Sound from Always Right. Over in fourth is Seabass. Giles Cross is pulling up before that fence, so Giles Cross is also out. Hello Bud from According to Pete, behind these Deep Purple. Sunny Hill Boy towards the outside, still going in company with Swing Bill as they take the next fence. Over Midnight Hayes, Calgary Bay, a slight mistake there by Kappa Blur. A blue Cap of Kikava Fontaine racing in midfield. On his own is well back in the field but he's still on his feet, as indeed are the likes of Neptune Equesta. Also well back is the Midnight Club, so a much reduced field as they turn back towards the stands for the first time with Planet of Sound, Shakalaka Boom Boom, Seabass and Always Right heading the national field. And Rare Bob was another one to come down in the very early stages of the race, and it is Richard Johnson and Planet of Sound who leads them now onto the race course proper, leads by about four lengths now to Shakalaka Boom Boom, who's racing in second position. Katie Walsh and Seabass towards the outside, followed by according to Pete and always right then the veteran hello bud these then being followed by deep purple who survived a couple of shuddering mistakes on the first circuit the gray swing bill was next followed by midnight haze and then ballad briggs last year's winner going round on the inside he's just in racing in advance of calgary bay towards the outside is sunny hill boy who is next followed by on his own and then kappa blur and there was a mistake as they crossed over the fence which were the last in a circuit's time by always right last of all is vic venturi and mon mom is last but two as they race on now towards the chair and the leader is Richard Johnson and Planet of Sound as they come towards fence 15 the chair and he led there by about three lengths to Shekela back of the boom boom over in second always right is down a bad mistake by swing bill Vic Venturi was very slow over that but always right was the one who came down at the chair so with a circuit to go over the water jump in the national and it's Planet of Sound who led Shakalaka boom boom was over in second and Seabass was in third hello bud was over in fourth position according to Pete 
was over in fifth, followed by Sun Hill Boy in sixth. Calgary Bay is in seventh. Neptune Colange is in eighth towards the outside. Quisco Fontaine is racing in ninth, followed by Ballard Briggs in tenth. And then towards the outside is on his own. These then being followed by Midnight Haze and then the Midnight Club as they race on towards the Melling Road. Kappa Blur is next, followed by uh, after these in compliance. Then Swing Bill and after Swing Bill, Deep Purple who's hard driven. Then towards the inside is Weird Al, followed by Farrell Watt and uh, then towards the outside Vic Venturi as they go over the next. Killy Glenn was the fall of the canal turn on the first circuit as they all face on the first one down towards uh, Beaches. Kiz Cover Fontaine was a faller there and hampered Vic Venturi. They're also going to bypass it would appear the one before Beaches Brook. So the second of these run down towards Beaches. Planet of Sound lead Shakalaka Boom Boom. Seabass giving Katie Walsh a great ride on his own likewise for Paul Townend towards the inside. Deep Hello purple, Bud. Really Deep Purple is being pulled up towards the back of the field according to Pete Sunny Hill Boy. Then over the in eighth is Neptune Colons just ahead of Kappa Blur. Behind these is in compliance Calgary Bay still going with Midnight Haze. Ballard Briggs is about seven or eight from the back at this stage. Neptune Equester is still going as they prepare to bypass the one before Beaches. A mistake by the Midnight Club as uh, right towards the back of the field we have Mon Mom as they now prepare to bypass the fence before Beaches Brook. So on the long run down to Beaches for the second time it is Planet of Sound who leads the John Smith's Grand National Field from Shakalaka Boom Boom and the 14 year old Hello Bud on his own has gone prominent and then Seabass with Sunny Hill Boy towards the outer. According to Pete with the white faces followed by Kappa Blur and the grey Neptune Collange as they rise. Planet of Sound over in front on his own is a faller has brought down according to Pete. According to Pete was brought down. Weird Al was badly hampered. So too was Tharawat. Vic Venturi has been pulled up. It's Planet of Sound over Foynhaven with Shakalaka Boom Boom and Hello Bud and Seabass who hit it. Then Neptune Collange and Sunny Hill Boy and Kappa Blur in compliance and Ballard Briggs and Midnight Haze and Weird Al and Calgary Bay and Swing Bill and the Midnight Club and Neptune Equesta and Tharawat and those are the only ones still going in the national as they take the canal turn. Shakalaka Boom Boom was over in front. Most of the principal streaming out over it. Ballard Briggs was over in midfield. A slight mistake from the Midnight Club. Farouat was the last to take it as they go to Valentine. Shakalaka Boom Boom out jumped by Planet of Sound. Seabass was down on his nose but he's still handy in roundabout uh, fourth place. Neptune Colange and Hello Bud, two of the old timers in the field giving a bold sight. These five ahead of Ballard Briggs who's creeping into contention on the inside with behind these towards the outer in compliance. A bad mistake there by Midnight Hayes. Calgary Bay still going as is Weird Al. Likewise the red cap of Kappa Blur and then Neptune Equester towards the back with Tharawat. That time Shakalaka Boom Boom's turn to outjump Planet of Sound who's being ridden along. Sunny Hill Boy makes progress. Weird Al was a faller back in the field. So Shakalaka Boom Boom, Planet of Sound. Seabass, Hello Bud, the grey Neptune Colonge. Sunny Hill Boy, Ballard Briggs, jump that well into seventh. In compliance, Kappa Blur, Calgary Bay, right across the iron, swerving to avoid a loose horse. Swing Bill goes past him. Then behind these, a couple of lengths back to Calgary Bay. Midnight Haze, the Midnight Club still going. Going so Starawat and Neptune Equesta, but a leading group a clustered up of eight runners begin the turn back. Plenty of chances despite the depleted field. So as they make the turn back towards home, Katie Walsh on the outside on Seabass now lays it down to Barry Geraghty on Shakalaka Boom Boom. These are the first two. Hello, Bud. And then on that one's outside, Sunny Hill Boy. Next is Bala Briggs, who is now creeping into contention with Neptune Colange on the inside and in compliance right around the outside in compliance jumps to the outside of sunny hill boy followed by seabass shakalaka boom boom and then the yellow of neptune Colange, followed by hello bud and then Bala briggs and kappa blur continues to come on the final fence of the grand national and on the outside sunny hill boy and on the inside of him that is seabass these the first two neptune Colange is battling on in third followed in fourth by in compliance shakalaka boom boom and then Bala briggs who begins to rally around the outside, they go around the elbow, Sunny Hillboy and Richie McLaren have got the lead over Seabass and Katie Walsh, Neptune Colonge and Daryl Jacob, they've got another 150 yards to go, Sunny Hillboy with Neptune Colonge on the outside, bearing down, racing towards the line, Sunny Hillboy and Neptune Colonge in a head-bobbing, pulsating finish to the Grand National, Seabass was back in third. Capablo was fourth in compliance, followed by Tharawat, who stayed on. Then on the inside, Hello Bird and Ballabrig, Shakalaka Boom Boom and Swing Bill. That is as close a John Smith Grand National as you will ever see.
Has John Joe O'Neill won his second far side Sunny Hill boy? Or is it Paul Nichols with Neptune Collange nearest to you? Richie McLearn and Daryl Jacob, the jockeys. They're clear of Katie Walsh on Seabass, who is the most successful woman jockey in national history. Very, very close indeed. Well, it could be a fairy tale for Neptune if he's got up, because apparently this could well be his last ever race. What, what a way to go out of it is. And the judge still has not called it. Neptune Collage is number four for the champion trainer, who will be so again if he's won. And far side Sunny Hill boy. The Irish national third from last year for Richie McLernan and John Joe O'Neill, who synchronised, was a faller at Beecher's first time round. Seabass has finished in third place. That much we do know, but there is the freeze frame. And if you can call it, you are a braver man than I. There's Daryl Jacob. Has he won his Grand National? Has he come agonisingly close? Place. First number four, Neptune, Neptune Collage. Collage wins the Grand National. Second number 27. A sensational, dramatic Grand National. Daryl Jacob looks to the heavens. And this horse placed in two gold cups has pulled off a remarkable triumph in the colours of John Hales at 33 to 1. And on a day when everything has been going Nicky Henderson's day, it is Paul Nichols who has a Grand National at the 52nd attempt in the unlikely shape of Neptune Collage, who becomes the first horse in Nicholas Silver to win as a grey.